This is Unity, and I'm going to use it to make my first game. But before we start, here's a quick summary of my idea. A square awakens in unknown territory that looks somewhat like a laboratory, guarded by the disastrous triangles trying to take over the world. Your mission is to escape this laboratory, in which you enter forest. Don't really have a cool name for it yet, so just bear with me. Triangles try to hunt you down while you traverse through this ancient forest and stumble upon an afraid circle. <clears throat> yeah, I think you get the point of this game, basically based around shapes, since I'm not bothered to code actual sprites. But anyway, that's about all I have so far, so let's get started. So now we start off with the most important thing, the square. Yes, yes, I know, very creative. Uh, why are you booing me? To really make the square come to life, I had to first implement a character controller which allows the square to actually move. And of course I had to do a lot of coding. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. I won't bore you with the details so I spare you your time by telling you that a lot of the coding I did wasn't working. So I scrapped the whole thing. Started over with a much clearer idea on how I wanted to make the game. This turned out to be a blessing in disguise, as I eventually managed to get the basic controls down and a moving square. However, a recurring issue kept turning up with the crouching, which was a hassle to sort out. But eventually, after hours upon end, I scrapped something together, adding subtle animations and fixing the major bugs, creating something like this. I know it doesn't look like a lot right now, but trust me, definitely a great start. Let us now continue to what I did next, which is creating tight controls. But first, a quick coffee break. Tight controls can be broken up into four parts to make a successful and smooth platformer. Coyote time, jump buffering, edge detection, and variable jump height. Names that sound very technical and boring, but I assure you, they're what made the games you like to play today so great. Coyote time allows the player to have a split second after they leave the platform to jump so that it feels smooth and natural. Jump buffering allows the player to press the jump button before they land which instantly lets them jump again once they have landed. Edge detection allows the player to clip very so slightly next to an edge so it gives the player a bit of a boost and doesn't allow for uncomfortable gameplay. And finally, variable jump height. This allows the player to jump at different heights depending on how long you hold the jump button. These are pretty unnoticeable stuff when it comes to games but it makes a huge difference in terms of comfortability and smooth gameplay. It wasn't that hard for me to add these tight controls, so I managed to make this game much smoother in such a short amount of time. This also included adding acceleration and deceleration to the square to make it more realistic. Now, enough of the information type stuff. Let me show you the end result for the general movement of the square. As you can see, the square is moved around smoothly and comfortably, allowing for a better experience. I was planning on adding a double jump, but it doesn't seem like a very important thing to add right now, so I'll come back to that later. For now, let's move on to the triangle, aka the enemy. 